Hey there, everybody. I uh, have spindle index sensors available, so I wanted to put a short video out here just so you knew that. And if you're interested in one, you can contact me and I'll send you a PayPal invoice and get you one right away. So look in the description of this video for my, my email address and uh, other information about these. Basically, long story short, these were, uh, I came up with these when I was working with Mach 3. So they're primarily for Mach 3. Although they can be used with any CNC system that um, you know uses an index signal, the way this works is there's two types. There's this one that was primarily uh, it was really designed for the seven-inch mini lathe. So the way the the housing is laid out, this just bolts right onto the mini lathe. And uh, actually I actually have a picture in the instructions. I'll show you. It bolts right onto the mini lathe in such a way that it's it's really quick. Uh, you know, installation. And then you just, literally you can just epoxy the magnet to the mini lathe and that's it, that's the installation. So that was, that was this type. And then I also have this other type which I'll call like more of your universal type. So if you want to install this on, you know, some other type of machine, a different type of lathe or a milling machine, you can use this. You can either put the fasteners through the top or you can put the fasteners uh, through the front. It has holes holes in both orientations. So you can mount it this way or you can mount it this way. But they're both the same sensor. They both work the same way. They're very simple. They're really easy to use and they'll give you uh, one pulse per revolution which for Mach 3 is all you need to get uh, spindle feedback. The instructions I talk about how this works. I give you the instructions on wiring which are super simple. Um, if you zoom in here you can see there's only three wires. The red wire goes to the positive voltage on your breakout board. The green wire goes to the ground. and The black wire goes to the input on your breakout board. And this sensor will work with voltages between 5 and 24 volts. There's some instructions here that tell you how to configure Mach 3. It's pretty straightforward. It's all in there. And I just want to give you a quick demo. So I don't actually have a, a Mach 3 machine anymore. I use the Centroid software on everything. But uh, what I did is I made a little little program here for my, my Arduino to simulate this. So really simple. Just like I said, the red wire is your positive voltage. The green wire is like your ground. So like pretend the Arduino is your breakout board. It's you know the same idea. And then the black wire goes to the input. Then all you have to do is mount a magnet to something that spins. So I literally just stuck the magnet to the end of my cordless drill. And what you do is when you spin the magnet in front of the sensor, you get RPM feedback. Now the Mach 3 software is probably a little, has a better algorithm in it for calculating RPM than this Arduino sketch that I just made, but you get the idea. There we go. The magnet has to be within a few millimeters of the face of the sensor, otherwise it doesn't trigger. Okay, there you go. So it's that simple. If you want one of these, I have them available right now. Look in the description of this video for my email address. Uh, if you want to make your own, I have some videos that tell you how to do this on your own. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.